Hi. I am babysitting the rats. This one is Mahler. That's like the, uh, this guy. Oh, careful, a little jumpy, are we? This is Mahler. Is it Mahler? Mahler has a lot of personality. He's very friendly. He thinks I'm a jungle gym. Um, I'm taking rats out of the cage and letting them have a, a bit of a run around. Um, right now we're sitting on Jacob's bed, which is more or less a safe spot. Mahler is a little too timid to jump down to the floor and run off. Um, so he just kind of circles the bed and climbs up on me. And, um, there he is. And then, after I've had Mahler for a while, I'll go back and get Mozart, the other rat, because they've decided to fight, and we can't have them out together at the same time. Yeah. I have no step-out-the-front-door plans for the day, um, but I'll probably have to... Right? He's just below the camera. He... Hey. He might walk across the phone and, and, and stop the video, um, but if, uh, what do you smell? He's perfectly willing to chew on my clothes if he smells a bit of breakfast. Hi. Hi, Mom. I'm, uh. From this le angle, I look really tired, but I'm okay. This is Mahler. Yeah, if, uh, I mean, rats are social creatures, and so the fact that we have to keep them separated is not as good for them, but if they're fighting, we can't leave them together, they'll hurt each other. Um, Jake thinks we should get them neutered, which, um, is a possibility. These little shitheads are getting pretty expensive. Hi. Because Mahler... Yeah, sniff the air. Yes, so we are their pack right now. Mahler is a rescue from the feeder. Uh, he, he was purchased to feed a snake. And Mahler and the snake hung out together and were friends. Um, and so the snake owner, who's a roommate, kind of stuck him in a, in a cage to periodically, like, re, retry to feed him, but, um, Jake felt that we should take in the rat, and, uh, we did, and there's Mahler. And knowing that rats are, are, are better as social creatures, um, Jake then went and got another rat, who's Mozart. And Mozart immediately uh, had a lung infection. And, and shortly thereafter, Mahler had a lung infection. And so we had to keep them both isolated because um, they were at different levels of infection, different, different points, you know, so we, we didn't want them to reinfect each other. Um, and we had to feed them antibiotics, which they hated, and we hid in applesauce, which they liked. And um, Mahler came out of it fairly friendly, and Mozart came out of it um, much more timid. Um, I think Mahler's friendliness is probably why he's still alive. Uh, and then um, Mozart was very young when we got him. Um, so when Mozart's... Uh, balls dropped, as it were, um, they started bickering. And so now we can't have them together. You still got a mark on your tail, don't you? Um, they're both cute. They have very different personalities. This guy's more friendly. Mozart is more, uh, food-motivated, as they say. Ooh! Got off the back of my shirt. Um... They like to think they're burrowing in things, which I guess makes sense as rats. 
Uh, yeah, and so um, what essentially became started out as as uh, um, a rescue rat became two rats, um, and then they became two rats and a medical bill, and uh, and now if we get them neutered, it'll be even more expensive. But it would be better if they could play together, and. Uh, I don't know. I might be imagining it, but I think I read somewhere that they live longer when they're neutered. Um, which would be good. My, um, my, uh, issues make it hard for me to get attached to things when I know they're going to end. And, uh, getting attached to short-lived creatures, um, is just really stressful. <laughs> Uh, but I like the little shitheads. Every once in a while he falls off the bed and kind of freezes on the floor and I have to go scoop him up because he's very nosy. He just, you know, kind of pokes over the edge and he's a little bit clumsy. Uh, the other one never, never seems to go over the edge. Um, doesn't move around as much and, and, um, Mozart is much more interested in food. And so once he's decided there's no food around, you know, he's... Yesterday I fed them uh, blackberries, but I didn't actually realize how large a blackberry was compared to a rat, so they, they spent most of their visit eating. Hi. That was actually uh, one of the issues I was dealing with with my therapist before therapy canceled. Yay! Um... So for now, I'm without a therapist, and that may be the case uh, until the end of all this isolation, uh, it's hard to say. No, no, you can't reach that, so don't try, because if you try, you're going to fall on your dumb little face. He's curious. Uh, Mozart's younger, but I, I think Mahler's much more curious. Mozart's bigger, too, and we kind of think that their, their clash is more because Mozart became a bully than because of uh, Mahler being the old one in the Yeah, so um, if, if you hadn't caught up on this, uh, I get my, my, my medical and, and therapy and stuff through the VA. And, uh, the VA hospital here is a teaching hospital, and gosh, I think more than half the staff are students. Um, you know, they're all, um, you know, perfectly good to be doctors and therapists and all, but they're 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 working for their their doctorate. They're they're working for their I don't know what it's called, and um, they, you know, uh, so a lot of the people um, I I work with uh, as a patient, I mean. Um, are there for six months or a year or two years, and then they're going to go off to where their final um, assignment is. It, some of them stay at the VA, but often they wind up going to um, other universities or other hospitals. Um, and in the in response to the COVID nineteen pandemic. Uh, they sent all the students home. The students came in one day, and the VA took their badges away and said, go home. So, yeah, my therapist was one of the ones that was sent out. Um, yeah, he likes running around, too. My therapist was one of the ones sent out, and um, they're now just heavily understaffed. And the whole VA is going to be heavily understaffed, and pretty much everything that isn't an emergency is shut down. Um, my, I, I had a, a CAT scan scheduled uh, for my nose, and that's been canceled. Um, currently, my, my next ENT appointment isn't canceled, but that's late April. Um, I do have an appointment with my, uh, my med medication provider, um, 
which is still going on. Uh, she's regular staff and not a student. Um, so uh, that'll probably be okay, but they might shut down further. Like every few days, it seems like they shut down more services. Um, I had a, a, a group I was going to go to for PTSD, and the, the groups are shut down. And of course, um, a vast majority of the veterans at the hospital are going to be in, in uh, a dangerous category, right? Um, I saw something recently where the VA uh, decreed that everyone had to shave their beards. <laughs> and so uh, a lot of the um, like the non-medical staff were, were shaving their beards off in solidarity, right? So the, the therapists and administrators and all that. S some of these veteran uh, staff, VA staff, have uh, ugly chins. I want them to grow their beards back. Yeah, uh, so... I, I don't see any reason to think that things are going to get better before they get harder. Um, but we'll see. You know, who knows? Maybe we will be back to business as usual by, by Easter. But it uh, seems really unlikely. Um, I think the, um, the track of infections and deaths is, is still going up. We haven't peaked yet. So the idea that we can predict when it's going to be safe to come out of hiding is silly. This is Mahler, Matt. Like the composer, M-A-H-L-E-R. Teach me how to cook. Yeah, um, and the longer it goes, the harder it be. And I work for an arts organization that has, fortunately, um, had some forth foresight to, to be ready in case of an emergency. So I'm still working, but I don't know how long that can last. Uh, we are uh, funded by government grants in part, um, regular income streams of uh, ticket sales and that sort of thing is off. Um, we're trying to find some online uh, ways to continue business, um, and honestly, I'm not sure there's any money making to be had right now. Um, don't you dare fall off, you dumb shit. There you go. Uh, so I don't know how long we're going to go. Uh, we got uh, various projects keeping us busy. Um, a lot of uh, things that have been put off because we didn't have the staff or the time. Now that's all we got. So we're doing a lot of stuff, um, and that's going to make it easier to do other bigger projects. Um, but who knows how far we can go before we run out of funds. I, I hope um, we can get through it all the way to the end. Um, no one I know of has had the... Courage to ask for figures like, okay, at the current rate, um, how long till we have to start laying people off? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, hopefully that won't come up, um, but it might. Who knows? Um, Jake is uh, is working uh, in a place that is. Um, I can't remember the phrasing, but it's necessary to society um, and so uh, they're sending a lot of their staff home so he's making overtime right now which uh, may come in handy for us if I get cut back um, so I think as a household we're okay as long as no one actually gets quarantined and uh, yeah that's it essential services uh, he works for a company that um, does uh, captioning for phone calls for the deaf. Hi. Come here. here. Yep. Um, so, yeah, as a household, I think we're going to get through as long as it's not, like, months and months and months. Um, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm 
I mean, if if things are shut down as long as like June, I mean, right now things are screwed up and a lot of people are hurting. Um, but particularly among the performers, if June is still shut down, it's gonna suck. Um, the Pride is is a big keeping an eye on the rat. Uh, Pride is a big thing around here in June, and um, that's potentially, and for some people, it's a big part of their, their performance income for the year. Um, if it gets into, uh, say, July, August, it's going to be very hard for the haunted house industry to keep going, uh, because that's their big kind of development period. Uh, and of course, it goes into October, then we're all going virtual. Um, but society as a whole will um, have to change quite a bit if we're going to be closed down that long. And then, when things get better, who knows what's going to happen? Are we going to go back to the way things were, or are we going to learn? Um, gosh, I, I honestly can't predict. I really hope we learn from this process. Um, but I, I'm afraid that once the pandemic is over, people will mostly want to get back to the way things were. And the way things were was not great, to be honest. Um, a lot of this has, has um, shown a light on problems that already existed. Um, so we've got people who need paid sick leave to survive and to not put their co-workers at risk and a lot of the most essential workers in our country are paid the the worst um, and have the least health care and the least kind of support network so hopefully at least we'll learn something about that um, I hope that the, the, the snobs who tell uh, cashiers to get a real job realize that um, their lives kind of depend on their being grocery cashiers right now, um, and they stop being such jerks. I hope they're being less jerks right now, but I, I don't know. I don't want to get back to it. I, I love that the air is cleaner. I love that the traffic is less. Um, I think a lot of jobs can be uh, uh, done from home, should be. Um, and I know that's not going to be for everyone. And uh, for me, not being able to go to the library to do my work is is driving me nuts. But if you know um, public transit and, and walking and bicycling uh, can make a bit of a surge, uh, that would be cool. Um, so that we, yeah, and so when we get back to uh, healthy, um, we can learn what possible through all this. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, support. What are you doing that? Come on. You can't reach that. If you keep trying to reach it, you're just going to fall on your face, and I'm going to have to save you. Ah, hang on. No. 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 Um, so yeah, um, I'm on live while I'm while I'm rat sitting. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of ramble a bit. Uh, no particular plan, nothing to teach. Um, I'm just gonna ramble and periodically show you a rat, and they're cute. Uh, the other one, Mozart, is all white, uh, not like lab rat white, but kind of creamy. He's what's called a Dumbo rat which has to do with the fact that his ears are a bit more this way. Um, he's cute. He's the bully of the two, though. I think. Hard to say. But he had kind of a tough time during developmental uh, period in his growing up. Uh, and so I guess I can understand if he's maybe not as friendly. But this guy should be all sorts of traumatized, and he's friendly as hell.
Honestly, they're so smart and friendly, I don't think if I had a chance I could ever own a snake again, because I couldn't feed these to a snake. I guess the, the snake owners uh, fed the snakes today and one of them didn't eat his rat, so now there's a stray rat again. <sighs> Which I'm not even going to look at. Because... Fuck. I can't do it. I have a pet snail and it gives me anxiety. <laughs> he sleeps for days at a time, which, I, I don't know, that might be normal for a snail. Um, I just sort of keep him moist and um, keep food near him, and every once in a while he wakes up and chews on it and goes back in his shell and sits there. Doesn't seem to mind if he falls off things. Um, but he's, he's just a, a brown garden snail. Um, a friend of Jake's had, uh, had him... I, I say him, snails are hermaphroditic, um, and uh, Jake's friend moved to another state, and these are forbidden to cross state lines because they're an invasive species, which is a bit closing the door behind the, the horse because they, um, um, they are everywhere already. He's doing okay. Because every few days he wakes up. So I guess whether that's normal or not, that's normal for him. Hey, you gonna climb up? Hey? Red Hatui? Red Hatui? I think my sense of smell might be just coming back a little. I'm getting subtle sense again now and then. Um, and sometimes they make sense. Not not like the, the phantom smells or not uh, the parosmia, where, where you, you smell something but it doesn't smell right. Um, coffee doesn't quite smell right, but I can, I can taste it again, so it's not great, but I can taste something. I think that's progress. Uh, I'm continuing to take the uh, the steroid nasal spray and, and do the um, sinus rinsing. Um, and so whether that's what's making progress or, or not, I tell you what, I got a whole bunch of people sending me uh, links to the, um, the, the WHO statement about uh, loss of smell being a sign of COVID-19. Um, but that's not since it's something that started happening years and years ago, it's clearly not that. Um, but, you know, I guess people are looking out for me, so that's cool. I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but uh, that's good. Um, still losing weight. Uh, this, this whole thing has sort of changed my eating habits. Uh, I'm about the the weight I was when I was in the Navy, and by the the much maligned and bullshitty BMI, I am almost to pass from obese to overweight um, in like two pounds. I would bet, uh, for you and Alex, that might have had something to do with uh, moving to a new um, elevation, uh, because things taste different at a higher elevation, so you may have had to adapt. Um, that's why airplane food tastes wrong, um, because um, it, I can't remember the explanation for why, but it, it, it affects your ability to taste. Uh, except for things like ginger, which is why ginger ale is so lovely, and saltiness, which is why uh, uh, pretzels are served. Hi. Do you find, in general, your breathing is better? 
because you're, you're probably uh, less polluted now too, right? I wore this shirt yesterday and he smells the blackberries on it. Every once in a while he'll like grab a piece of fabric and chew on it. Hi. I did not keep track of the time, so I don't know how long it is, but I try to give him at least a half hour each. Yeah, tomato juice has like the umami. Honestly, for my health in the long term, moving away from you to my the white, uh, the right option. Um, oh, yeah. Um, for short term, I'm here. For medium term, I'm probably here. For long term, it might be healthier for me to get somewhere else. Um, but for now, my best health care is here, my best performing opportunities are here, um, and I would have to recreate a lot. And, and Jake's job, uh, while it does have other locations, I don't think it has any locations anywhere I would want to live. Where is he at? Oh, you dumb shit. Excuse me while I rescue the rat. Who's afraid of height? You should fall down a lot. <sighs> maybe, maybe my you know my kind of dream would be able to live in two places, you know, like half the year in one place, half the year in the other. Kind of split the best of both worlds. I went back to Maine. I know I'm allergic to more things there, but the air quality is better. I'm more familiar with the culture. There's less of that monolithic culture than Utah has. Um, I don't know about healthcare at the VA there. I know that the Lewis and Maine VA is probably not as cool as the Utah VA. Um, I do know people in the performing arts there. I might be able to recreate some of the opportunities there. Um, I, but, you know, I can't move Jake out into the woods. Uh, I, I think he would try to put up with it, but I don't think it would be fair. Hey, stupid rat. Uh, let's see. I just got a message from someone. I think if I tap on Messenger, it won't close the video. But I don't know, because I, I, I know in the past, uh, doing multiple things on the phone has closed the video. Yeah. Oh. The, um, the camera's way up high, so you didn't see, but the rat just kind of crawled up the screen. How long have I been visiting with you, rat? I want to make sure you get at least a half hour before I swap you out. You should have much more time, but I don't have as much energy as I really think you deserve. And I feel bad about that, but I feel bad about everything these days. <laughs> Don't know. You know what? If we come out of this and and airfare stays low, which isn't going to happen. But if air f air f ah, thank you. If airfare stays low, then it would be easy to have dual dual location. Could uh, I don't know? Find someone to make that wants to sit time to new time. We could share two apartments. It's possible. There are opportunities in Utah. I think I would spend summer in Maine and winter in Utah? No, I'd probably split half summer, half winter. Okay, cool. So, Rhett has had a half an hour. So, shortly I'm going to swap him out. Ah, oh, if only there were a series of tubes. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm going to give him a bit of carrot. Mozart, or Mahler. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
come up here and eat and look cute. Or run and hide and eat. That's fine. Yeah, you're right. Winter in Utah is, like, more bleak, too. I think, yeah, and that's the air quality. Um... So as soon as Mahler is done with his little niblet of carrot, I'm going to swap him out for Mozart, and we'll visit Mozart. Can you shoot YouTube jokes on the end? I guess it's important. So cute. If I can show you. It's hard to aim the, the selfie camera. I can't tell if I'm looking at him or not. Hi. Yeah. Season jet out of there. Yeah, that's probably exactly the way to do it. Um, as much as I miss New England fall. Or I could start a haunt in Maine, because haunts aren't big in Maine for some reason. So I've been told. I haven't looked into it personally. Um, so maybe I can uh, talk your factory into doing a franchise in Maine. Alright, finish your nibbles. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go off screen for a few seconds. But I'm going to leave it running. Uh, if anyone new uh, joins us while I'm stepped away, uh, yes, develop it and help lead it. Okay. Be right back. Say hi to anyone else who chimes in. Hello, rat. This is Mozart. He's a Dumbo rat, and he's chubby. He's very food motivated. Hey, Sally. Come here. Have a carrot. That's my shirt and a carrot. There we go. All right. Well, he's not going to eat on... Uh... No, the rat did. The rat ran up to the screen and, and pressed the button. Um, but it, it just paused instead of closing it off entirely. Um, Rachel, this is Sally. Sally, this is Rachel. Hi. You didn't miss much of the meeting, Sally. It was um, a lot of talk, very little of it had anything to do with us in specific. Um, although there's some plans to do some uh, performance stuff that might interest you. Um, but it was in the sort of brainstorming ideas stage, so in my experience, maybe 1-5% to of that will happen. But we had some fun ideas. Um, and apparently a lot of us have performing arts degrees, and, uh, like, Barb has a dance degree, and, and Scott at the gallery has a, a, a musical theater degree, 
So, yeah, I think we should put on a show. Um, probably a virtual one, but also um, maybe a, a real in-person show someday soon. Rachel's pretty cool. Rachel is in the Pacific Northwest right now, but I met them here in Salt Lake City and uh, through a mutual friend who is Satan, and not in a good way. Uh, but now we are in touch and we are good friends. Rachel has been a big help in my life, um, in support in my writing. And uh, Sally is uh, a performer here in Salt Lake in the burlesque scene. Um, Sally Sucker Punch Sally uh, is her performing uh, name. And she also works at Dreamscapes with me. Um, recent edition, uh, a, a huge uh, injection of energy. Uh, yeah, we have been friends for a long time. Like, gosh, years, right? Um, one of my one of my coworkers, Kelly, actually knew him, um, and we we shared stories a bit. And like everything I said, she said, "Yeah, well, that that sounds like him." She got a she got. Um, got the vibe off him and um, because she wasn't a young fresh co-ed he didn't go after her but um, they they overlapped a bit uh, I was in Maine in 2005 I, from in 2005 I moved from San Diego to Maine and in 2010 I started at dreamscape so somewhere between those two is when I moved uh, to Utah, um, but that's about as close as I can get for a date without looking it up. Um, but this is my 10th year haunting. Um, Jake and I have been together for, I want to say nine years, 10, no, wait, Jake introduced me, Jake pointed out the ad that got me haunting, so I met him the year... I think it was either 2009 or 2010 that I came to San, uh, came to Salt Lake City. Yeah. Um, yeah, Jake Jake uh, pointed out the the ad that got me to to go to uh, Nightmare, and then from Nightmare I went Fear Factory and never went back um, because they treat us really well, um, which is a common experience among people there and it, I mean it's not universal we're never at 100% anything but um, people who stick with us generally stick with us because we treat them very well and right now we're the best paying provided we can open uh, so yeah um, Mozart is just sitting there eating he, he likes to run off and hide to eat but I'll, I'll bring him on camera in a minute Sorry, did I startle you, buddy? He's a little more flighty than Muller is. He just sort of squats there and eats. And... Junior high couple. Wow. I know... I still know one person that I knew in junior high. And he was on, he was on the feed recently, um, John James from Maine. Except I don't think he lives in Maine anymore. I don't know. My sort of people tend to be rumors and rovers. I used to be good friends with the brother, but he was became an anti-vaxer, and that that just became an issue for me. I've had my teddy bear since 1986. That's probably my longest non-relative relation. 86 or 87. He was, um, when I was in the hospital, he was a gift. 13. Man, I was an idiot at 13. <sighs> also being gay in a small town in Maine at 13 in the 80s was kind of rough. Um, so 
the the odds of my my having a a romance at that time were pretty pretty minimal. Um, obsessions, yeah, confusions, fear. Um, but no romance for me for quite a while. My uh, my first boyfriend contacted me fairly recently, like within the past few years. Um, and apparently I had left my class ring behind and he mailed it to me, which was kind of sweet. He stopped being online and he was always kind of a sickly sort, and so I worried he may have succumbed. But... Yeah... <laughs> But who knows? Um, it's just knowing gay people from the 80s, I just assume if I stop hearing from them that they're dead. Hey, Mozart, come here. Be on camera. Be on camera. Look, look how cute. Look how cute. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Everything he's doing right now is looking for food. He's just sniffing around, looking for food. Um, I'm getting some messages on Messenger, but I'm just going to let them sit till I'm done with the end, guys. They can tune in the video if they want to talk to me. Uh, so my plans for the d d today, um, include this, and, um, Rachel, can you let me know since 2011? Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, I didn't friend everybody I met at the time. Uh, can you let me know when we're nearing an hour? Uh, if you're still with us, because um, I, again, I, I I often set a timer for this, so I'm not short changing the little guys. Um, but I did this time, because I got distracted by talking to y'all. Who do you want to meet? You want to meet my rat? Where'd he go? Come here. Come here. There you go. Boop, 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 boop. Well, when separation time is over, I, I should have everyone come to visit. Say hi, Mozart. Say, I'm a big bully, and I beat up on my brother because I have testicles. But uh, Mahler treats me as a jungle gym much more than Mozart does. So Mozart has sharper claws, and so therefore will occasionally climb on me if I'm not wearing a thick shirt. Because that's how the world works. Uh, nope. Thank you, Sally. I'll talk to you in person soon. Well, I'll, I'll have everybody over for dinner when, when it's safe to do so. And I will see you at the Dreamscapes soon. Tomorrow, maybe? Or when, whenever you're next on. I'm not on today. The, um, yeah, so uh, there's a magic show, a virtual magic show, uh, that Lefty Elias Caress uh, is producing, and it's, I can't remember the name, but it's got the word quarantine in the name of it. Yeah. Well, these guys have isolated themselves, so dipshits. Uh, but I found where the the secret location is, so I'm going to sneak in and crash the, the magic show. Um, within safety. This is not, it's not a crowd. It's, it's a few people performing in an empty room, so I'm going to go there and, like, applaud behind the camera. Uh, I, I need to get back to writing, but um, impulse controlled, the, the whole... Uh, post-apocalyptic thing is just not I, I'm in information gathering stage now rather than writing stage I guess but I, I want to uh, I gotta figure out some way to do it in isolation because I was getting such value from going to the library to write um, and it's I uh, you know 
and I want to go work on uh, a cozy nook or something, um, or even poetry or short stories or something. Uh, I suppose I could dust off my laptop and write from the kitchen or something. Maybe I'll try that. Um, just to, you know, get me out of the bedroom at least. Or, you know, if the weather's nice, out on the back porch. Or the front porch. Yeah, it's snowing right now, so not today. But maybe the next time the weather's nice, I'll see if I can't get my laptop charged up uh, and do some writing um, out outside. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to like reread a cozy nook from the start though because uh, I've forgotten details. Um, I know where I want the story to go, but I don't remember all the the trail the trail I've I've laid so far um, because there are like a million ways to get to that endpoint, right? So I need to reread it, and also I often when I writing if I know where it ends I start to lose my impulse to move forward um, if I'm writing as a discovery it keeps me rolling um, but if I if I plan too much I start to lose, lose my impulse or my uh, impetus um, so I might take exercise a mental exercise in letting go of the final destination that I'm planning and see if if that changes my writing process because I know in the past when I write from pure discovery I will eventually get somewhere interesting and then in the rewrite I can um, lay out the breadcrumbs as it were um, hi you little guy hi he's so cute Woo there we go he's gonna climb up my back now Ooh. Talk about with it. Hi. Uh, uh, ee, 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 that's our bit. <laughs> oh, you little monster. You little monster. <laughs> scratching up my back, do we? So, I'll figure that out. Maybe I'll do some uh, painting this afternoon uh, before the magic show. Um, I, I definitely want to take advantage of, of this time before I'm sure the UTA is going to start shutting down services to some extent before long, if we're at this for very much longer. Um, and as is, getting places is, is rough, but I'll go ride a bus with either people who are paranoid about each other or people who are in denial about the whole thing. So I'll wear a mask. I'll wear my pollution mask, mind you. Um, but at the very least, I'll keep my fingers away from my, my mouth and nose. Ah, what do you do? Hello? 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 Ah. Well, I think the rat may have shut us down. Um. Ah, that's what happened. I didn't know where his little feet had touched, so I just went black. Um, good call. Good call on identifying the problem there. Uh, 
was I talking about anything important? I think I'm just bemoaning. I think I've switched into that. Um. Hey, dipshit. Got more carrot for you. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you. Thank you for the time check. Thank you, Ten. No. I don't think I have much more to talk about. I might try to paint this afternoon. I might take a nap. I'll definitely go pee, because i got to do that now. Um, or in 10 or 15 minutes. My, uh, I've got a to-do list, but I'm kind of parsing it out to one thing a day which is what I did when I was depressed. Because one a day was the most I could handle. Like, I would do a thing, and that would use me up for the whole day, and sometimes for multiple days. Um, and now I'm parceling out my to-do list more because... Um, I'm hoarding activity. Uh, I'm afraid I'll run out one day. Um, so, I, you know, I've, I've got the paper and paint, and I could paint every day, but um, if if I'm not all used up, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday, uh, I, I went and worked and did, did some grunt work at Dreamscapes. Um, and that was good for a while, and then something tense happened, and I just completely shut down. Uh, which, yesterday's um, chat, uh, live video, uh, I talked a bit about that, and uh, using my my therapy skill and how to cope with that. Um, I didn't get very many viewers, I don't know how Facebook's algorithm does, but... Uh, Honestly, um, coping, you know, I generally keep, keep upbeat, uh, for the videos, and mostly I'm keeping fairly upbeat, but, um, I do have moments of just staring off into space and not realizing that I've started to cry. <laughs> uh, Bob, are you really watching? I'm not sure Bob exists. I think he's a myth. A story we tell to scare children. So yeah, that's my day. Tomorrow I'm going back to Dreamscapes. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, I'm going to start uh, painting a mural there. Um, with help. Um, I'm not creative on it, but I think that, um, my, my coker and I can create a mural. That's a nice activity. Creating is always good for me. Which is why these videos that are arguably creative are for me. Hi. That while, while we're, we're shut down, we're doing a lot of repair and, and reinventing and, um, and it's a good time to, to take a project that'll take more than, you know, the couple days off we have during a normal work week. Yeah. That's a rat butt. That's what's art. Oh, now he's getting more lively. I, there's some, um, chocolate in the nightstand that I'm pretty sure he smells. And they can have dark chocolate, little bits. Uh, apparently it's good for them. Um, but, uh, we, we don't want to, um, don't want to overdo it. Right? Getting chubby enough as it is, aren't you? 
starting to waddle. The two of them eat the same amount, but this one seems to have a different metabolism. But also might be hoarding. Might actually be getting more food than we think, because he hides the food when he eats it, so we look at his dish and think it's empty. Little greedy gut. Yeah, even before he and his, his buddy started fighting, he, we generally have to separate them when we're giving them treats, because this one would drop his treat to go grab the treat from the other one. Weren't you, you little greedy bastard? Where you at? Sweet, sweet, daddy. Moo, moo, moo. Why are your toes wet? Did you piddle? Oh yeah, I, I don't know how entertaining today is, but it's it's shared time, and it's nice to spend time with you, Rachel. Um, mostly just you. It's nice Sally to drop in, and uh, Bob was briefly watching for a while, but I I'm not sure he understands what this is. He's, um, he's the confused by technology generation. They're full of fiddle, yes. All right, what are you doing, dummy? He's kind of standing on his head? Yeah, that doesn't seem like a wise thing for a rat to do. Why were you standing on your head? What do you think you're achieving? Are you just playing? Oh, what are you eating? What did you find? Well, rats in the wild eat garbage, so probably whatever he found and, and ate is going to be okay for him. It looked like a bit of sawdust. Yeah. Um, thanks. The, um... It's it's funny, kind of, all things being equal, I like having a lot of solitary time, but when um, the limit is put upon me, rather than decided by me, um, I get lonely. <laughs> well, you're the one that named the cat Loki. Ask him for trouble if you ask me. What are you doing, Rhett? We're probably, probably nearing the end of your time, buddy. So get your last frolic and not one of them smart enough to figure out how to use their wheel. Which is a shame, because they get a lot of exercise out of it. Mahler walks on the top of the wheel and kind of goes, Vimp. They both have wheels in their cages. we got two cages now, because we have to keep them separate. You think you deserve that last piece of carrot? gym equipment. Cage outside would be nice. Cabin rail? I can do cabin rail. Human deceptor. What I can do is open my blinds and let more sunlight in. That probably would be wise. Um, even though it's kind of snowy and gray out there, it could be brighter in here than it is. My hair's a bit mad. All right, 
as soon as he's done with his carrot, I'm going to sign off and take him back. Yeah, that would be lovely. And a, a, a snack fridge and um, a bar. We had an interesting household. There's me and Jake, and two rats and a snail. Um, and then Sasha, who's kind of nominally, he's the one whose place it is, because he's been here the longest, and the sort of rotating roommates. And he's a friend of mine from long ago, and he's been in a Kaganza Risings. Then Andrea, a friend of his, and her nine-year-old son, who is out of school, and, uh, and then an EMT named Chris, who... Judging by what he listens to on the radio is a bit right-wing compared to the rest of us. Seems decent enough. Stays to himself quite a lot. Um, and you got to respect an EMT, but I don't know. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, yeah, we don't socialize much. We, um, not quite Art Bell, but um, it will not surprise me to hear Art Bell playing one day. He also doesn't use his headphones as often as he could, and he laughs aloud to himself while watching TV. Um, yeah, we, we almost never speak. He stays in his room, he comes out to cook his, his massive um, bodybuilder meals, because he's a bodybuilder. sound. It sounds like our dryer might be dying. Oh, done with the carrots. Okay, we are going to sign off, and um, thank you for visiting. Um, I'll do videos. I'm not going to promise to do them daily or on any schedule, but I'll do them when I get an idea to, or if I'm feeling particularly I don't know what to do about things, I might hop on. Um, he's chewing on my pocket because, just like the other rat, he can taste the blackberry. I'll do this. Take care. My love to your family. I'll see you.